What's up? It's Supercar Blondie. I'm here in Dubai and I'm at the world's tallest hotel. I'm getting one of the most unique cars in the world delivered right here. even say this car doesn't exist but it's right in there it is real the Devil 16. It's real. It's here in Dubai. And I'm going to be the first person in the world to drive the Devil 16. Apart from the manufacturers, I'm going to be handed the key very first. I can't believe it. We're going to take this baby out. It's like 10,000 birthdays today. This is the most insane car I've ever seen. Never seen something with this design. Anything like this before. Okay, I've got the key. The key to the Devil 16. This is a big moment. Let's go in. Now this interior is going to look a little bit different once it goes onto the market next year. Uh, they're still in testing phase, but this is a fully functioning car at this point. Let's turn her on and first of all see how the Devil 16 sounds. Ready? Yeah. Want to go around the back yeah, so you yeah, can yeah. hear it better? Oh inside my God. here the whole thing is just pop my ears my god that is crazy oh. <laughs> okay so <laughs> it's gonna sound a little bit more aggressive actually a lot more aggressive once it goes to market they're gonna have three different versions of this car the first one's got 2,000 horsepower with a v8 engine the second one has got 3,000 horsepower with a v16 quad turbo engine so four turbos and then this, the third version is going to have 5,000 horsepower. That doesn't even compute like how that would feel to drive a car with 5,000 horsepower. A lot of the reason why the car is so long is because they need to fit in a V16 engine. They're only going to build seven of these models per year. And this car is designed here in Dubai. We're going to meet the three, three brothers who own this company and who have designed this car from scratch. It's designed here, but it's gonna be built, manufactured in Texas, in America. A lot of this interior is gonna look different from when it actually comes out. The steering wheel shape is gonna be very similar to this, um, but it's going to look obviously <laughs> quite different from how it looks right now. There are a few different features that they're going to keep. This center dash. And then once the car is turned on, you can see that this is the camera so you can see behind the car because there's no window here instead of having a uh, left and right uh, side mirrors I've actually got a camera here to show you what's happening on the right of you and also a camera here to show you what's happening on the left what they want out of this is 
for you to feel like you're in a Rolls Royce when you're sitting inside because it's so spacious. Um, and then on the outside for it to look super slick. engine in it it is fully drivable we're gonna load it back on the truck uh, and go and test it in the desert because here there are too many cars you can't really test the car out and it's super low right so like, you know? low at the moment it doesn't have a lift at the front but they will build one in when it's ready for market yeah. four fingers <laughs> That's pretty cool. How does that make you feel? Ah, very happy. Yeah. <laughs> One achievement. Yeah, a massive achievement. Yeah. And now you go from building the world's tallest hotel to starting to produce the world's most powerful yes. production car. This is what uh, we are targeting. Uh, uh, we are three brothers. Um, I am Majid, and we have Rashid and Muhammad. Yeah. So we are crazy about cars. Yeah. Uh, when we create the design of the car, really. The car should look like a jet fighter. This is our aim. And when we come up with the design and we create the actual car, no V8 can create, give you that much horsepower. Right. So we, we thought we'll create our own engine. Okay. The actual car which you can be tested the 5000 and can be driven and seeing it's going to be next year. Next year. Yeah, hopefully in February. The current car, the white car, actually it doesn't have that uh, race engine which is the 5000 horsepower. The first one on the market isn't going to be the one with 2000 or 3000 horsepower. It's going to be straight to the 5000 horsepower. Straight to the 5000 horsepower which really can be driven and we'll be oh. testing the top speed acceleration you mean i'll be testing the, the top speed and acceleration yes. yeah 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 can can yeah shake on it shake on it <laughs> <laughs> it's on proof yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness that is crazy though yeah. okay so all the cars will be built in texas usa yeah do you yeah. have an indication of how much yeah. this costs yeah uh for the v8 version is going to start from 1.6 million dollar and the 3000 horsepower which is v16 Quad turbo, it is like a, almost like a 1.8 million dollar. Okay. Then the 5,000, 2.2 million dollar. 2.2 million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's um, like I'm so excited. What is about to happen is we're about to take this baby out on the roads, and I am going to be the first person in the world, other than the three brothers, mm. to drive this car. What? Park so that we can go drive this baby. Yeah, I'm in love with the now. By the way. Oh, yeah. hello, Emma. She just appeared. By the way. Oh. I said, we've got the coolest car in the world. She said, I'm jumping on a flight. I'm on a plane. I'm, I'm on a plane. I'm here. She arrived a few hours ago and here we are in the desert. Get excited. No, only me. Okay. I'm excited. Okay, good. <laughs> So we're going to offload the car and then test it on this road. This road is amazing. I'm ready. Insane. Jeans are in flying under the radar with this car. Okay, let's go. I can't quite believe 
pivot face. say that the engine coming next year is going to be much louder than this I say this amount of noise is already crazy you can hear it so well um, screaming down there it was so smooth I was expecting it to be a little bit more um, I mean it's really low to the ground which I really love because it means you can feel the road but I thought it'd be a little bit more like rocky because it's so close to the ground but it's actually really really smooth i just think it's super special to be driving something that looks so incredibly different and um being a part of something that is looking to the future you know i always get excited about cars that are um unique and that have vision and that are trying to push the boundaries and do something different and that's what these guys are doing and you know you can say oh it's not going to happen and be a naysayer and be a cynic about it all but if no one actually tried to push these boundaries we wouldn't have the cars the incredible cars that we have to on today's roads and i just can't wait to see when this actually fully is rolled off the production line with um the engine the v16 that's going to have in it which is crazy and then uh, just see how different the interior is as well when that actually comes out but to be part of this journey and be part of the first steps towards something so great is so exciting so i just want to say a big big thank you to all the brothers rashid majid and muhammad you guys rock thank you so so much thank you to you i hope you've enjoyed the video please like the video right now give me a thumbs up hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already We've got so, so much more cool stuff coming. It just keeps coming. It keeps coming. And that's all we have for today. We're going to watch the sunset um, and have the Devil 16 in front of the sunset as it goes down for today. And I'm just going to stand here and go, wow, what an experience. Thank you guys so much. Love you. Thanks for watching.